tell me about kind of your your prep for the season. Yeah, so I've not long come back from Mercia in Spain, because um, again, Birmingham in July, or end of July, it could be hot, it could be anything mm -hmm. really, it could be rain in England. Um, probably be raining. Probably, but we kind of want to make sure we're prepared. So I've gone to, you know, can kind of get heat training rather than altitude this time. Mm -hmm. um, and to be fine, a bit like I guess when I was at Liverpool, I've quite settled now. I've got some really good places to run on my doorstep mm -hmm. around the edge of the Peak District. Birmingham is going to be a hilly course, so we've got a lot of undulating runs and things like that. And we've got like this reservoir, uh, Lady Bower, mm -hmm. and it's kind of 11 mile loop around it, you know, a mixture of trail and road. And it's, it's rolling terrain, which is actually perfect for Birmingham. So we'll do that. Um, we're doing like layer runs, so that means we'll go out for some of the easy, easy runs in a few layers mm. just to kind of top up the heat. Okay. Um, a couple where we run and then get in the bath afterwards, warm bath, which is not nice. So, yeah, we kind of that's how we'll prepare, but we kind of it works being at home for me. Mm. I'm quite settled. Um, we've got like my physio and massage therapist here and stuff like that as well, which is quite important for me. You say warm bath, no ice baths for you? No, I don't like them. I don't Do like them. My coach tries, but I, yeah, but there's conflict in science now, isn't there? So, yeah. I very much lean towards the side that no ice baths. So. Yeah, I always <laughs> think of it say because you damage your muscles and you almost like treat it like a bruise. So, yeah, you can, but you don't have to have it that cold. But I remember I always used to wear socks. And then put the ice in. Yeah, I probably should do more. I do know that, but again, I'm just. Oh. Yeah. 